Hi there, and welcome to Key Stage 2 Higher Year 6 Area and Perimeter. So let's have a look at these type of questions. So area and perimeter, the area of a rectangle is simply just length times the width. So the length uh, will be the long section and the width will be slightly smaller. So in this case, if you look at the first example on the left-hand side, 5 times 3 is 15, and we always write the area in centimeters squared or meters squared. And the reason we put the small two on the top right hand side is because we're multiplying two numbers of two varying lengths together. Um, the perimeter of a rectangle is basically the measurement around this particular shape. So we can see the length is five centimeters and the width is three. Now we also know that the five centimeters will also apply on the opposite side of this rectangle and the three centimeters will also apply on the opposite side on the right hand side of this rectangle as well. So in this case, we just do five, add five, add three, add three, and that gives us 16 centimeters, which is the entire um, measurement and distance around this shape. So remember that um, uh, an area is the measurement and a surface area within the particular shape, but the perimeter is the distance around this particular shape. The shape, some shapes can also be split into rectangles. So there we go. So we've got two rectangles added together. These are called composite shapes. So what we need to do here is find the individual area of the two triangles and then add them together at the end. But let's look at our first example here. So work out the area of the following garden plan. So let's work this out together and I'll show you what we need to do in this case. So if we look at this, particular rectangle garden area here, we'll just label that as A, and we'll just label this as B. So let's work out the area of rectangle A or garden section A. So this here, eight and five, the length and the width. So if you multiply eight and five together, that gives us 40 meters squared. Now let's work out the area of a garden patio B. So in terms of the length, we know from here, the entire length is nine meters. And this length here of this garden A is five meters. Now we need to find out the measurement from there to there. Now to do this, we're just going to do nine take away five, and that gives us four meters squared. So this measurement here will be four meters squared so let's just write this down so we don't forget okay now it's the case that we need to find the length of this side of garden patio b so let's have let's look at this so the width here of the garden is eight meters so we can see that here and then we've got five meters at the bottom so we're just going to do eight take away five that gives us three meters in terms of length here so let's just write this down so in this case it would be three meters all together so now we can see that our two measurements for garden patio b is going to be four meters and three meters and if you multiply four by three that will give us 12 meters squared. Let's just write that down, 12 meters squared. Now we're going to add up these two measurements, 12 meters squared and 40 meters squared. So 40 add 12 is 52 meters squared altogether. So for shape A and shape B, we have 52 meters squared in terms of our answer and in this case if you look at the options the answer will be option c so be very careful with composite shapes work out their um, areas first by splitting the shapes up and then add them together at the end and good luck with the rest of the questions thank you